the brother has a question that what is our duty to satisfy the woman that is love that is lust or to satisfy almighty god before i come to your sanatan dharma i will tell what islam says as allah says in the quran i said my talk in surah room chapter number 30 verse number 21 that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created for you mates from amongst yourself so that you may dwell in tranquility and he has put love and mercy between your hearts that means allah has created for you of your nature mates your wives your spouses so that you may dwell in them in tranquility you get tranquility you get calmness and almighty god has put love between your hearts once the archangel gabriel who came to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when the sahabas were there and he said that even having sex with your wife it is charity sahaba das even having sex is charity how so the reply came because you are having it lawfully if you have it unlawfully with the woman who is not your wife it becomes prohibited so because you are enjoying lawfully even that is charity that is khair that's a good deed and you rightly say that there is love and there is lust i too have read sanatan dharma and appreciate the oneness of god mentioned sanatan dharma you know hinduism has got various different sects you may be aware of that various different denomination the highest scripture there is shruti and this smriti shruti according to hindu scripture means the word of god and vedas are the highest they believe in one god they believe almighty god has got no images i can give quotations you can see my video cassette similarities between islam and hinduism but should we satisfy the woman or should we satisfy god number one i said in my talk the basic aim of every human being whether man or woman should be to satisfy almighty god now while satisfying almighty god you may satisfy the woman you may not satisfy if she is a good pious woman she will be satisfied if you are satisfying almighty god for example almighty god says have sex only with your wife a pious woman who is a mohsana will be happy but a lustful woman she will not be happy she is a wife following god follow me she may be khutwa to shaitan she may be a footstep of the devil you ask me questions about krishna that krishna gave advice to arjun since you mentioned krishna he is supposed to be a role model for the hindus and we read in mahabharat you know i have given the talk on similarity but because you asked this question what we read in mahabharat that when krishna when he goes on the bank of the river very often when the women used to go to have a bath he used to take the clothes away and run away for what for love of a lust because he is god he yes. can do suppose i am owner of uh, i am owner if of god would all, like to rob clothes of women and run away to see them coming out out of okay come out without clothes then why can't you and i do because if you can copy god why can't you copy god if we see if you know this is the ultimate see we cannot copy god because god is on a different level but if you consider krishna to be god and if god is doing something like taking away clothes of the women and telling them come out without clothes can you do that or not you can do it very easily that's what we find in hindi movies you know we find all this what i'm trying to say we should take the message which is right i read the sanatan dharma there are many things which are good hundreds of good things thousands of good things but what is not good you have to leave it aside i have given the talk on similarity between islam and hinduism now you speak about krishna talk about love talk about lust i appreciate many things of krishna but on everything many things he said is right he tells that be a kshatriya fight against injustice even be against your relatives he says that in bhagavad gita same thing in the quran surah nisa chapter 4 verse 135 that stand up for justice as witness to allah subhanahu wa taala even if it be against yourself against your relatives against your father or mother allah protects both so if what he saying matches with my quran with the real word of almighty god i accept it but everything i don't accept it to be the word of god that's the reason what i do this is the furqan furqan is the criteria to judge right from wrong and if you read this 
This is the last and final revelation of Almighty God which was revealed to humanity. If you read this, I challenge you to take out a single mistake in this. The other books that we have, the other religious scriptures, because of passage of time they have been changed. Interpolation, concoction, fabric. Who says that? Not I. The scholars of Christianity, they say that the Bible has not been maintained in the true form. The scholars of Mahabharata say that initially Mahabharata was a story told by the grandfather of Arjun to the people. Later on the 8,000 shlokas became 24,000 shlokas. Now we have more than 100,000 shlokas. Interpolation, addition. So what has been added? I cannot accept that God Almighty, leave us at God. Even the prophet of God can do such things. So what I say, this may be an interpolation. I respect the messengers of God. But if you say that these people are saintly people, no saintly people will do what I consider, okay, this may be an interpolation, this may be a concoction. So therefore, I request you to read a book which is 100% pure, without any interpolation. This word, the Quran, Allah has promised in the Quran, in Surah Hijr, chapter number 15, verse number 9, that we have revealed the Quran and we shall guard from corruption. Almighty God has taken him upon himself that he will prevent any corruption in it. From this, if you read, you get the pure rights that the woman can have in this world. Hope that answers the question.